Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be filming another video dedicated to Black History Month and today's recreation is going to be from this photo from Vanessa Yima. I'm pretty sure the G is silent. She's one of my favorite beauty influencers. Her beauty shots and makeup are always flawless and I'm really excited to recreate this look. It gives me Cinderella vibes and I love the bright pink with the blue eyeshadow. I think it pairs so nicely. And once again, I do these videos throughout February to show my appreciation for Black beauty and Black content creators. And I'm really excited to do this look today. So I will have Vanessa's Instagram down below if you'd like to check her out. Her content is just amazing once again. And she recently came out with a collab with Juvia's Place. I didn't get it, but the palette looks absolutely beautiful. And I love Juvia's Place eyeshadows. I just have so many eyeshadows right now. But yeah, definitely check out that collab. It's super pretty. I've done my base makeup today and the only thing different was for my eyebrows, I actually used a new product. I'm pretty sure I haven't mentioned on my YouTube channel yet. I used the Morphe Micro Brow Pencil and I really like this product. I prefer my pomade though, just because it's a lot faster and the pencil, it's so thin, it takes long to fill them in and it can be harsh sometimes. I actually decided to do them before my eyeshadow. Um, sometimes I've been doing that lately. I normally do it after my eyeshadow, which is very strange actually, but I don't know, I just like to do them afterwards. Underneath my powder, I applied the Rare Beauty Illuminizer in Enchant. And I really like the way my skin is looking today. I find it's still showing through and it's giving my skin a nice glowy look, glowy from within look. I'm gonna start doing this more often, putting cream highlighters underneath my powder because it still shows through and enhances my bone structure. So I'm gonna be using my James Charles palette. I'm first gonna go into this blue shade. And I'm going to apply this into my crease. We're just going to wing out the shadow. And I'm just going to keep slowly blending and building it up. We're going to cut the crease. And I'm actually going to use the Anastasia Beverly Hills Eye Primer. I squirted too much out, unfortunately. But I figured I'd use this just because Morgan told me it's really great. And I've only used it, I think, like once before, so... Now for my lid shade, I'm going to take the Pastel Goth palette from Kat Von D and I'm going to go into the shade Boom and just pat it onto the lid. Oh, this is so pigmented. My eyes are so bright. I'm loving it. Now we're going to do some shadow liner and I'm going to take the first blue shade from the James Charles palette and start doing a wing. I am seriously loving this eye look. So I just cleaned it up and sharpened up the eyeshadow with the Anastasia Beverly Hills primer, just because I squared out too much instead of concealer. I normally would have used concealer. And now I'm just going to apply some mascara and lashes and then I'll come back to finish up the eyes. Okay, so I'm going to take the Urban Decay 24-7 Glide On Pencil in Stag and I'm going to run this across my waterline and my upper waterline. Now I'm going to run the first blue that we took from the James Charles palette across my lower lash line. Just applying some lower lash mascara with the CoverGirl Exhibitionist mascara, but I'm gonna let the first coat dry and continue contouring my face. I did the first half. I'm gonna take my Bahama Mama bronzer from the bomb. And really chisel out my face. Now I'm gonna bronze the face with the Estate Bronzer in Coco. Just go over my cheeks nose, forehead, chin, mostly on the cheeks. Before we do the glitter liner, let's do the inner corner. I'm gonna take the Aurora Glow Kit from Anastasia Beverly Hills, and I'm gonna take the shade Orion and pop this in the inner corner. Ooh, that is so pretty. So it looks like she has a silver glitter liner, but I don't have a silver one. I only have a gold one. So I'm gonna take 
the Urban Decay Heavy Metal Glitter Liner in Midnight Cowboy. I'm gonna go nice and slow. Time for blush. I'm gonna take the Tarte Amazonian Clay Blush in Feisty. I'm gonna apply this at the back of my cheeks into my temples a little bit beneath my nose just a little bit so to finish up powder products i recommend crushing the powder it'll also give you more pigmentation just because i know it's harder to pick it up on the brush when there's so little left in the pan but finally finished Woo! and for the apples i'm going to take winter kissed by highly cosmetics i'm Packing it on clearly. <laughs> Some perfecting powder from Kylie Cosmetics, and you're perfect. Also, nearly done. Just to diffuse the blush and brighten up the under eyes. Just gonna brush my eyebrow hairs up. The clean spoolie. I'm gonna take my Pixie by Petra highlighter in Settled Sunrise, and I'm gonna take the Champagne. Champagne side and now over top of that just for some more sparkle i'm going to take the fenty beauty diamond bomb and how many carrots and apply this just on my cheeks lip liner i'm going to take my morphe lip liner in honeymoon I'm going to apply a bit of Kylie from Kylie Cosmetics. Lip plumping. Lip plumping. Lip plumping. Oh my gosh. Lip plumping gloss in Peach Bellini. And lastly, I'm just going to set my face with the Jar Cosmetics Slay All Day Setting Spray in the Watermelon Scent. I've been showing my fan a little bit. So here's the completed look. I put on this blue summer dress from ASOS and I just did my hair. I did a high bun and I put on this pearl headband from H&M and some studs from Swarovski. And I really, really love how my hair came out. I did a Cinderella style. I feel like a princess. I feel so cute. Thank you so much for watching. I really hope you guys enjoyed this video. Happy Black History Month. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up if you enjoyed. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see future videos of mine. My social media links are always down below if you'd like to follow me. I hope you're having a fabulous day. I love you and I will talk to you soon. Bye.